What is that thing? Well, the last good thing we saw was cleaner, so... Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt to humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, we can't all be winners. can't get out. Once of the hive matter is gone, we can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half-covers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark health friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Here. It flies? Of course 
Joseph flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but I don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. hear about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. Raven 
ribbons on it. Ribbons. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. The Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows. All the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Grola kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretation. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of Heath Witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. We've really got to write these stories down one day, Minir. Well, I try. Joe takes to get sore, but thank you, lad. <clears throat> You had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? The cunning general. A war with a forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Wouldn't you prefer to face forward, rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with... Viscera. Oh. There was a brief bit, I thought I might get used to it. He did not.
job. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? and luck. Lose any one of them and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. I knew Sinji was a great blacksmith. This magical shield. It just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. Let's see, my boy. What do you need? Take him. What can I make for you? I'll disinfect my tools.
it. I'll heat up the forge. Some new blueprints for you. Ready when you are. What? You just came to stare? What do you suppose that means? They're destroying the ravens free their spirit somehow. Good to know. Free. Well, free of Odin's control anyway. Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. <laughs> <laughs> 